Hi, welcome to Fit Today. We're here at Meyer Foods for East Meets West. I'm Leslie Goldman, and today we're joined by Toby Smithson. She is president of the Illinois Dietetic Association and community dietitian for the Lake County Health Department. And Toby's going to tell us about the great benefits of incorporating some traditional Japanese foods into our Western diet. So, thanks for joining us. Thank you. And uh, why don't we start with soy? We sure. always hear about soy. Sure. Um, one of the examples that we have here on the table is the soy milk. It's a great so source of soy protein. Mm -hmm. And um, what some of the research is showing, besides um, being able to lower your total cholesterol and your LDL, the bad guys of the mm -hmm. cholesterol, also by taking two cups of soy milk, you can prevent um, hot flashes during the menopausal years. So two cups a day. Two cups per day. Okay. So good news for women. Uh -huh. Although I do want to mention that the soy protein that's in here is a phytoestrogen, which means plant estrogen. Mm -hmm. So it mimics estrogen that we make in our body. Um, I do want to point out, though, that some of the research is conflicting about soy and breast cancer. So should women talk to their doctor when they're making that decision? Definitely. Okay. Okay, and some of these other products have soy in them, right? Right. Um, the meal starters uh, are by Morningstar, and the one that we have here on the table is steak strips. So you can replace, whenever you have protein in your meal, mm -hmm. you could replace it with the steak strips. Which are not real steak. Right. It is made from soy, so you get a good source of soy protein, mm -hmm. but it has the feel, the texture, and the taste of uh, real meat. So you can stir fry that up with some veggies, like maybe these edamame. Right. That would be a good way to use the, um, the little pods of soy, mm -hmm. another great source of soy protein. And they're delicious, too. Yes, they are. And uh, joining the edamame and the plate, we've got salmon, so. Right, one of the reasons that we're um, looking to eat more salmon is because of those omega-3 fatty acids, which help to lower our cholesterol, and, as well as our triglycerides, too. And another benefit from salmon, besides the omega-3s, is that it's also a really good source of vitamin D. And what we're finding out is our population here, um, especially in the cold climate, is um, very lacking in vitamin D. Okay, so we'll eat some salmon and then we'll wash it down with green tea. Right, green tea, the benefits of green tea, one of them is for cancer prevention. Mm -hmm. and the recommendations are three to five cups of green tea per day. And there also is some upcoming research that's been going on uh, with um, actually weight loss, that green tea and caffeine, so it needs to be the caffeinated green tea, mm -hmm. is. Um, producing uh, weight loss in people. Speeds up the metabolism? Yes, yes. Okay, another little additional benefit. And you can buy all these at Myers Foods, all these products. And thanks so much for joining us. Log on to www.fittodaytv.com to enter a raffle, and you can win a bunch of products like this and add some Japanese flair into your mealtime at home. There's a whole lot of shaking going on. Well, that's what they say about vibration training. And we're on the power plate, whole body vibration training. Don, tell us a little bit about why vibration training works. Well, it uses acceleration training um, by activating the body's natural response to vibration. So when using vibration training, once tension is put on the muscles, it activates a lot more muscle fibers by moving in multiple planes of motion at varying speeds, anywhere between 25 to 50 times a second. Well, what's interesting then is if my muscles are reacting more, does that mean I'm getting more out of every workout? You do. It's a much more efficient, efficient contraction as well, having to stabilize, balance, everything like that, and coordinate all at the same time. So it is a much more of an efficient workout. So what are some of the exercises that I might do on the power plate? Well, they can be very basic. You can do things such as a basic squat, just standing on here, push-ups, lunges, any kind of rows, or any kind of movement, actually. It's a flat surface, so essentially anything you do on earth, you can mimic and do on the plate as well. Well, what's really neat is we're at Maxine Salon, and they do group classes in vibration training, and then it's also single. But aren't there three types of workouts you can do on a power plate? Yes, power plate has benefits in strength, also has benefits in stretching, increasing range of motion. Then there is also an improvement in uh, recovery, regeneration, massage, things like that as well. Massage, now that sounds kind of nice. I can just lay a body part on here and have it get worked out. Exactly, and that's the difference about when you're exercising, having tension on the muscle and having it be a little bit more passive to get the therapeutic benefits out of it. Well, I think this is a great new concept in training, whole body vibration training by PowerPlate. We're at Maxine Salon in Chicago. And Don, I love this workout. We're going to shake things up. And remember, you can shake things up in your workout too.